GCSE pupils across London opened their results this morning to find they had outperformed the rest of the country. The capital students got the highest percentage of grades at 7 or A and above. Like the A-level grades earlier in the week, these were decided by the teachers, leading again to questions about how fair a system that is for the future. From North Finchley, Chloe Keady reports. Okay, seven in Spanish. They are the class of COVID. But today, even the face masks couldn't contain their joy. It was the moment of truth for GCSE students at this secondary school in North Finchley, finally getting their results and some relief. How'd you get on? Um, I did pretty well. Eight in photography and English lit. <laughs> I'm excited. So I got in here, so I'm really happy. Um, I did not do well in one subject, but the majority I'm quite proud of. COVID has made its presence felt every step of the way. Today, students arrived in smaller, staggered groups to collect grades awarded to them by their teachers after their exams had to be cancelled. I can still remember what this moment felt like, collecting that envelope and not knowing what was inside. Add to that all the uncertainty that these guys have faced over the past year and a half, and I can only imagine how nervous they must be feeling. Right up until like uh, March or so, we just had no idea what was going on or whether we'd even do our exams or what form they'd take. But like A-levels, GCSE results are at an all-time high this year. Before the pandemic, just over a quarter of pupils in London got top grades. Last year, that rose to more than 31%, and this year it's 34.5, the highest in the country. But the figures also show a growing attainment gap between state and private schools, leading to more questions about how the government plans to close it. Well, we're very focused on education recovery. We've allocated uh, over £3 billion to one-to-one uh, -one tu tutoring, more money to schools to help them, to help children to catch up from the lost education uh, during the pandemic. No child should suffer any long-term damage to their prospects as a consequence of the pandemic. A lot of your younger students might be wondering what they should expect next year, but do you know what to expect? No, and that's the thing. I think what we would ask for for government is, is to know as early as possible, to have that certainty, because I think in knowing that system well in advance, we can make sure that the students are supported, that, that, that they've got that chance to be successful. So still some uncertainty for teachers today, but for students, for the most part, just unbridled joy. Chloe Keady, ITV News.